Hi kittens, welcome back to my channel. This video is about how to go from a five to a 10. Of course, beauty is about your personality and who you are, etc., etc. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But this video is more about the tips and tricks I've learned whilst working in the beauty industry and as a model, as an actor in front of the camera. I've always felt that I can trick people into thinking that I'm much more attractive than I am with just five little things that I do that people don't realize I do. Or maybe they do. Maybe they realize. <laughs> Tip number one, commit to your hair. And what I mean by that is choose a hairstyle. If you're gonna have long extensions, commit to that. If you're gonna have a snatchback ponytail, commit to that. If you're gonna have messy waves, do those fully. If you're gonna have a messy bun, go for it. Or a sleek bob. I think everyone who has their style on point always has a hairstyle and I've gone from one to the other, but when I choose one, I stick to it. I've tried every single possible hair extension method that there is. I always have some hair extensions that I keep around. I have these Kylie Jenner teal tip extensions, which look amazing. I have these Bellamy extensions, which are balayage that also looked amazing. The thing about extensions is you can look like this amazing mermaid head goddess without actually having to grow your hair. That would be my tip. If you choose a hairstyle, really commit. Clip in those hair extensions and really wear your hair long. If you have short hair and you really feel like you can't clip in the hair extensions, don't clip them in half assed and hope that you can pull it off. Cut your hair short, have a sexy bob, or put your hair up in a bun, but choose a hairstyle that really suits you and rock that hairstyle. Don't try, if you've got very thin hair, to have big, voluptuous hair. You're just gonna look like you're trying, so really, Choose that hairstyle and commit, girl. Tip number two, teeth. If your teeth are white, you will always look better. That's the rule of the world. Teeth denote health and denote that you care about how you look. There are a few ways to do this. Either you really don't drink coffee, don't drink tea, look after your teeth and brush them. I drink both coffee and tea, so I have to go around it in other ways. I've had my teeth whitened at the dentist, and I also use Crest White Strips, which my mum introduced me to. These are incredible. They really, really do whiten your teeth. They can make your teeth a little bit more sensitive, but they are really, really worth it. Your whole presentation when your teeth are white looks, I mean, you don't go from a five to a 10. You go from a five to an eight right there. All the other tips get you from the eight to the 10, but this one gets you from that five to that eight. Tip number three, get a tan, and I don't mean lay out in the sun. What I mean is use some fake tan. I always look better with a tan. I don't really have one on at the moment, but when I do, I look thinner, I look fitter, I look healthier. All these tips are basically ways to make yourself look healthier. Hair that looks good, health. Teeth that looks good, health. That looks good, speak English. Tan, it denotes that you're healthy. So there's two ways to this. I go and get a spray tan because I just like standing there when someone sprays me and it's all done and I don't have to worry about patches and things like that so I am very scared to mess it up. However, cocoa brown, you put it on with a glove, you rub it all over your body and this one really didn't give me any patches but I'm telling you, tan makes you look a lot more presentable and attractive. Fact. Tip number four eyelashes every girl looks better with long eyelashes you look like bambi what's not to love what i do i have eyelash extensions i think eyelash extensions are fantastic why because i'm lazy all these tips are basically for a lazy girl i love to get up in the morning and just go if you don't have eyelash extensions or you can't afford eyelash extensions go for the other option this is my eyelash bag so when I don't have eyelash extensions, I've got a myriad of eyelashes in here, mainly Ardell, but there are, there are many types. I mean, these are Lily lashes. Oh, Lily lashes are amazing. I think they make you look glamorous. I think they make you look put together and put together with your hair, tan, white teeth and eyelashes. What's up? Tip number five, and this one everyone's mother will agree with have nice manicured nails. And by that, I don't mean get a manicure every week. All I mean by that is if you can't afford to get your nails done, just get one of those little files and just buff your nails down and cut them short. Just don't have dirt under your nails, a half chip nail varnish. Come on, like 
get it together. What I love to do is get shellac. It lasts for about two weeks, so I literally don't have to worry about my nails for two weeks. At the moment, I'm loving the pointed stiletto style nail because I've got quite short little paws, so it's nice to have the little pointy nail. I guess I look like I've got paws. Short little hands with pointy nails. Anyway, that's my thing. That's how I like it. Overall, the five tips all together. Commit to your hair, get a spray tan, get your teeth white, get your nails done, and stick on some lashes. All these tips aren't necessary to do. You are beautiful as you are, of course. All I mean by that is somehow, when I do all of these things, people seem to think I'm a lot more attractive than I am. So from me to you, those are the tips. Now we can all be more attractive. <laughs> bye bye kittens, I'll see you in the next video.